week, but we've got TV host and personality Alex Boylan. Yeah. Yeah. Good to be here. Wait, let me hear you say hello. Good day. Mate. Okay, good. Right. That's a very close right. yeah. Okay, and Janelle Snowden from VH1 News. Yeah. And comedian Evan McDonald is back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't know if you guys saw this getting handed to you when you got off the subway today, but there I am in this free newspaper. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Check that out. AM New York. Uh, so basically, they were uh, talking about the stuff that I did yesterday. I got to take part in Teens for Jeans program. So basically, it's an effort between uh, DoSomething.org and Aeropastel to collect jeans for homeless youth. And uh, it was it was cool. Like, you can donate your jeans. I know, who has, like, jeans they will not wear anymore? Yeah. 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 All you guys have to do is just go down to Aeropastel, like, any of them, and just drop them off. And uh, it takes place uh, now through Friday. I think Friday's the last day you can do it, so make sure you get out there. And uh, they're going to, uh, you guys can also form your own uh, jean drive at your own school if you guys want to do that. And you can go to teensforjeans.com for all the details. Yeah. I think, you know what, all the jeans go to homeless kids, which I think is fantastic. Because everybody has jeans in their wardrobe that they just don't wear anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, and do something great. said that that's the thing that teens request most. It's like jeans. when people donate stuff, they don't donate jeans because they're yeah. like, I'm going to fit back into them or whatever. They're yeah. going to come back in style. <laughs> that's true. But, you know. All right, so donate your jeans. Now, uh, Alex, hey. why don't you tell us what's going on in the world? All right. These are your top entertainment headlines of the day. It's the 5432 Buzz. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They're very applauding today. I know. Crowd. You came on a good day. I know. <laughs> At number five, Kristen Wiig has officially joined the cast of Anchorman 2. Yeah! It's been rumored since December, but it wasn't confirmed until Monday when co-star Christina Applegate announced it on Twitter. Wig will play the love interest of Steve Carell's character, Brick Tamlin. Brick's got a girlfriend. Yeah! yeah. yeah. He needs love, too? I know. They all have it's such good comedic chemistry. I mean, they're probably going to be cracking each other up throughout the whole thing and improv -ing. It'll be great. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Plus, Kristen Wiig had to kind of do this, because mm -hmm. Anchorman was such a big movie, so, you know, the sequel's going to be big, and everybody's been wondering, what's she going to do post-SNL? So yeah. they're all besties over there. You yeah. know, oh, yeah. she was going to end up in there somewhere, yeah. eventually. Yeah. And now we know we can say, I love Wig. I love Wig. <laughs> yeah. I love Lamb. I love <laughs> <laughs> All right, at number. Oh, and by the way, I'm waiting for the third one to be in it because. Oh yeah, you'd be perfect. I mean, we <laughs> will make a comeback in the third one. Okay. I love it. All right, moving on. At number four, Lady Gaga's tour rider has leaked, and among the many demands, the diva requires a mannequin with, with wait for it, puffy pink pubic hair what? in her dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Additional requests, white leather couches, black satin drapes, and posters of her favorite artists like David Bowie and Queen. Gaga's writer also says that she doesn't want to leave her room. She doesn't have to. Oh, now, you're touring, Moody. Wait, What's on? you can put that on your writer? Yes. yes. I'm Chase agent. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. What do you guys have on yours? Well, I, I try never to be a diva. I'm just a stand-up comic, so I just require um, a hairless Taiwanese boy oh. to massage <laughs> and, and crack my back because I need to be adjusted before I tell jokes. Yeah. And you know, because you know, but, but that's reasonable. <laughs> you know, why not? But the truth is, like, you are so afraid to be seen as a diva or anything. So it's like I'm I ask for nothing, and then if they give me some food like a, a little vegetable tray or something, then I feel so Catholic guilt that I didn't finish it, that I'm like, let me take this. Does anybody want it? Like, it's too much. It's too Were much. Were those cheeses yours that I saw here? Yes. Earlier? I want to make sure that everyone eats, you know, whatever it is. Um, yeah. But yeah, people are always so critical of what comes out. So it's yeah. like, you really want to act really laid back. But I always ask the club owners, I always go, tell me who was the biggest pain in the yeah, yeah, I gotta tell those people, because there's some people who completely don't care and don't mind being called a diva. You know, yeah. J-Lo is always getting mm. criticized because she has her like, white trailer. Candles. Yeah, all that stuff. But apparently at last year's Super Bowl, MIA had a kind of peculiar thing where she requested that two to three women aged 20 to 25 dance on stage dressed in burkas. That, that was a rider demand. And then Kanye apparently has it so that any Anybody who chauffeurs him has to wear 100% cotton, no man-made <laughs> fabrics. And oh, you, know, you know how people always joke about like, oh, no green M&Ms, no brown M&Ms? Yeah. That was actually stemming from a Van Halen rider from years ago where they actually said all the brown M&Ms had to be plucked out. Oh my God. So that's but that, that was back from. then, it was so that, uh, that you made sure that people read your rider, but now right. it's just 
No. Now it's just because well, you can't. Like maybe oh. now they're just putting it in there just so we talk about well, yeah. yeah. Kesha, I forgot about Kesha. Last week she was on the MTV show Nikki and Sarah, and she requested a baby kitten and got it. Like, they uh -oh. went out now and got her a baby kitten. Okay, not fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we're going to go down to Pete in Times Square because I got a phone call to make for reals. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, give me Hi, a phone. Hi, Carrie. How are you? I'm down here with Flacco, and I'm going to ask him... No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be professional, but I just cannot hold it in today. As you know, my writer was not met this morning. Oh, so, what happened? Well, let's just take a look at what was delivered to my closet this morning, all right? Now, <laughs> there are a lot of problems with this, as you can see. Number one, this is entirely the wrong placement for the wig. I, I don't know how you make that mistake. This is disturbing. Wrong body part. Wrong body part. What? Number two, where is the Princess Leia outfit that I requested? Oh, I was oh, very specific wow. which scene from Empire Strikes Back it had to be from. Oh, but, and I hear I thought you were a Trekkie. Oh, please, I don't need a mannequin for the, my Star Trek moves. Um, <laughs> also, as you know, I requested a one-legged mannequin. Okay, and while this mannequin note, has a thank removable Thank you so much, leg, that was great. Why don't you continue? All right, all right, here we go. At number three, Justin Bieber gets raunchy in a guest spot on a new song by rapper Major Ali called Lolly. The lyrics include, she says she wants my lolly, she want to kiss the top. Yeah. <laughs> and got a piece of candy, and it's all for you. Up with rapper friend Lizard. Little Twist. Yeah, wait, let's go back Bieber's to that song. Up, huh? for one second. I don't want to go back to that song because yeah. this is his attempt to be mature, and he's calling yeah. a song "Lolly." Well, yeah, well, Lil Wayne did it. You know, I know. I, I know some people are disturbed because it's like you know, kind of sexual and everything. But let's talk about the real problem that's plaguing American kids, and that's obesity and juvenile diabetes. And he is pushing sugar <laughs> and lollipops and candy. You are absolutely and right. enough, you know, this is, this is the real problem. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know why anyone's not talking about that. <laughs> and then there's that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but right. he is popping Pellegrino. I like that. <laughs> and he didn't yeah. say that he did not say champagne because he's under 21. That's true. <laughs> but this coding thing, I have to say, I have been guilty of having some NyQuil without even having the sniffles at night. Is that, is that, is that, what, is that kind of like a, is that what sort of this drink is? It's sort yes. of like a NyQuil? Yes. Mixed and you, with a couple you will be yeah, downstairs yeah. at security. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we could, could keep talking about it, but we have to move on. At number two, Britney Spears is headed to Sin City. Brit's camp confirmed to Extra that she is definitely doing a residency somewhere on the Vegas Strip. It's unclear which casino will score Britney's live show, but rumored contenders are Planet Hollywood and Caesars. Mm -hmm. Heather, you played Vegas. Show. What do you think? I think she'll do great because basically Britney Spears is a puppet right now. People are literally like holding her up and feeding words into her mouth. So if you're a fan of ventriloquists, like that guy who won America's Got Talent, you don't need to go see that show anymore. You can go see Britney and she'll just be like, you know, hey, y'all. I think this is going to be good for her. Yes. She needs a place to just be and, and to be okay. Oh my God. Perfect know? place. How many times yes. is she going to call in sick? Come on. Oh, wait. The title of I the would, show? I would have some other tickets for But she's going to be nights. living in the hotel. There, you can't, like, she's not going anywhere. Right. They'll just roll her down. Yeah. They'll just roll her in that wheelchair that Bette Midler uses for the mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the Meet Mermaid song in her show. But the title of the show, just so you know, is going to be called, apparently sources say it's Justin Timberlake is a butthead. Uh -oh. Oh. On that note, still bummed. she's still bummed about that. Yeah. <laughs> and the story with the most buzz, Chris Brown will be in court today because the L.A. District Attorney says he faked his community service Whoa. and they want his probation revoked. Brown owes 180 days for the Rihanna assault case and claims he successfully completed 202. But upon reviewing the reports, the DA found discrepancies and lack of verifiable evidence. Red flags include dates that conflict with days Brown was on tour. Don't. No probation officer ever supervised his work. And a key administrator at the Children's Center, where he logged hours, never saw him Don't. do it. Oh, oh, man. Man.
happens. Well, apparently. He is never going to yeah. win. And if you're going to lie, I mean, 202, wouldn't you like, it's like giving, like, cheating on your report card and having all A's. you got to give a couple B's <laughs> yeah, in there. Something. You know, you should have been like 178. Yes, and yes. the yeah. dates, That's man. What, if you were playing so, on one of those days, what an idiot. Yeah. His lawyer apparently has released a statement that says, quote, the DA's office has apparently lost their minds and apparently, lots of apparently, they can't read their own words, uh, reports, excuse me, which clearly state he did the work. They are making scurrilous, libelous, and defamatory claims against my client. They should be embarrassed. Oh. oh. You and know, I mean, what else are they going to say? Uh, I mean, <laughs> obviously, uh, it sounds pretty clear. He, he didn't do it. But he's hiring all these people to cover his tracks. And I mean, that's who he should be kind of mad at. They should have been following the lie better. Absolutely. You know, if Absolutely. they're going to do the lie, I mean, at least be a little on it. Because now, I mean, come on. He got probation. That's a total gift. And then he never showed up for the kids. And, you know, everybody wants to be around Chris Brown, <laughs> small children, and women alike. Yeah, right? are we Can I really yeah, upset I mean, that that happened? I mean, was he supposed to go to, a, like, a battered women's shelter? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, you know, maybe it's good he didn't show up. If he's oh. with Rihanna tonight, can you imagine, like, if they are getting it in, like, how that's going to be? He's like, you did this. And that's your You can follow her on Twitter at Heather McDonald, and you can get her book, My Inappropriate Life. It's on bookshelves right now. Yeah. And Alex is going to stick around and help out with some of Jason's duties today, so we'll, we'll see you in All just right. a little while. You have to go Do outside. You're going so. outside. <laughs> um, and, you guys, this is really cool. LL Cool J is hosting the Grammy Awards this Sunday night. Yeah. Love LL. Uh, and we were lucky enough to catch up with LL and ask how he's getting all pumped up for his hosting gig. So let's take a look at this first installment of LL's Life Lessons. And now, here's Grammy host LL Cool J with one of LL's Life Lessons. When you're the host of the Grammy show, I don't think there's really a lot of time to blast a lot of songs. I, I need to just kind of just get ready for the moment and just be in my zone. There's no particular song. I mean, there's enough music to go around for everybody. I'm just going to you know, try to do my best to be ready and be prepared and just go out there and have some fun. That was LL Cool J with LL's Life Lessons. Yeah! That was all kinds of illuminating. Or wait, maybe we should call it LL Illuminating. <laughs> Good response to a bad joke. That was excellent. <laughs> all right, my next guest wears many hats. Actress, author, host, mom, screenwriter, and playmate. Though, of course, that one, she wasn't actually wearing a hat or pretty much anything else. And starting this Friday night, she's going to be bringing us the Jenny McCarthy Show right here on VH1. Take a look. <laughs> excited about that that we can I can actually borrow your clothes because we're in the same network it's like being closet? sisters yes oh my god that's so cool yeah, same wardrobe. um so i saw a centerfold in the daily news that uh, <laughs> i don't know if anybody saw that there here it is <laughs> i'm so excited about that it's so cool i haven't had something nice written about me in so oh <laughs> no come on I'm so... no i'm really really grateful i mean the show is, has turned out to be the vision I wanted it to be from, you know, step one. So. Are you so excited? So excited. It's, it's a little bit scary because it's been 10 years in the making of, like, development season and get different producers, different companies, and I finally settled on the best home ever, which yeah, is Yeah, you did. Could Ooh. not have found a better place. Thank you. So cool. So now we're going to be bookending the days, I think. That's how I this works, right? I'm so glad to be here. I'm a night owl, and I have... You know what? I am, too. I'm but they put me so in the morning. Sorry. This is just weird. <laughs> See, then if I were you, I would just push through. You know we, what I mean? We could. I'd we could do that. I'd and push through in the morning, then go to bed. Keep, Keep the party going. That's my motto. Now, uh, I was in Louisiana for a Super Bowl. You were. You were, too. I was. I was partying. Y yeah, I kind of was, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough weekend. Did you have to work a party? 
Uh, no, why I hosted a concert for VH1, uh -oh. best concert, best Super Bowl concert ever. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, with Michael Strahan, but you were working too. You were doing I was. Nights. I was doing the, um, I do the lace, leather and laces party every year that's yeah. been going on for like 10 years. That was last year's picture. <laughs> but um, uh, it's always a good time. You know, those things are just a drunken mess of horny people. And speaking of, you put it out there that you were looking for a date. Hell no, not a date. Maybe <laughs> someone to play time. Twister with. Okay. Yeah, right. um, you know, th those parties are such meat markets, you know, that I don't feel because I'm not taken yet. I um, just like to kind of look at the eye candy, check it out. But there really wasn't any this year. Oh. I, I spent the nine hours, which I wrote on my blog, um, looking for my sister JoJo, who um, is my makeup artist and she's here, but I party with her all the time and we lost her in. We lost her in New Orleans. Where is she? JoJo, jo -Jo, where'd you go? Wait, she, she, she called me. She's like, I'm getting on a boat to the Bahamas. Like, what? I was chasing her all around town. I'm like, where are you now? She's like, at a strip club. I'm like, with who? She's like, I don't know. So <laughs> I, spent, I spent nine hours searching for my sister JoJo. <laughs> and that's how you spent your Super Bowl weekend. Yes, and I tell you, I finally went home, passed out at my bed at 6 o'clock in the morning by myself. And I wake up at noon and there's 18 messages saying, open the door. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh no. I open the door, Joanne is passed out on my floor <laughs> in the hallway with a sheet over her body like a dead person in her suitcase. And I'm like, oh my God, Joanne, how long have you been out there? She's like three hours. And this guy kept checking on me to see if I was all right. And I got so aggravated. I put the sheet over me from housekeeping. <laughs> all of a sudden, this guy walks by. He's like, oh my God, I just want to make sure you're okay. And, she, and we were like, oh my God, it's Dr. Oz. Oh! It was Dr. Oz. <laughs> <laughs> at least it was a real doctor. Doctor, we're uh, peeing in our pants, going, Oh my god, he's probably like, What do I do with the drunk lady in the hallway? <laughs> well, we'll find out more about that story and a lot of other stuff when Jenny, uh, she's staying here, so we'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> At the general, we give over a million online car insurance quotes a year, but you can also get a fast free quote over the phone from a real person like Valerie or Mike. Monthly payments are as low as $39, and you choose your due date. You can also get instant proof of insurance. Give us a call right now or go online for an anonymous, fast, free quote from The General. <laughs> for a great low rate you can get online, go to The General and save some time. In the Outback, it's no worries for you and a mate every Wednesday. Choose two entrees, each with a salad and a side, plus your choice of appetizer or dessert to share. No worries, mate. You're both covered for just $25 every Wednesday. It's no worries Wednesdays in the Outback. My family's different. Beautiful Creatures has cast its spell on the critics. It's magical, romantic, a fantastic fantasy. Beautiful Creatures is a love story that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Beautiful Creatures, rated PG-13. A white carpet, kids, and a dog. It just seems like vacuuming was only doing half the job. This is the amazing Hoover Max Extract. Pull the trigger, push forward, and high-pressure water and Hoover's Clean Plus Carpet Cleaner penetrates deep, breaking up dirt and stains as the spin scrub brushes gently and thoroughly wash virtually every fiber. Pull back and the powerful dual-V nozzle technology rinses, sucks up the dirty water, and heated air is released to speed up the drying. Its smart tank system makes filling and cleaning simple, too. It's amazing. No mess, no dirty fingers, nothing. And its onboard tools mean cleaning stairs and upholstery is a cinch. Visit MaxExtract.com today and get this incredible offer. Not only will you get the amazing Max Extract, you'll also get a Hoover Twin Tank Steam Up valued at $99 and a 30-day risk-free trial. If you're not delighted, send it back and we'll return your money, ship for free, and you can even keep the mop. Max Extract. I love it. Mega Lash Volume goes Mega Plush. Bye bye, Brittle. Volume Express Mega Plush from Maybelline, New York. Our first gel mousse mascara for Mega Lush lashes soft to the touch. Mega Plush Mascara. Maybe it's Maybelline. We're, we're hearing that the uh, old sort of uh, Playboy After Dark is inspiring your new show. Yes, it is. Um, when they said to me, what do you want to bring 
to your late night show that's different, and I hate that word because everyone tries to be original. Um, when you borrow off something, always. I borrowed off of Playboy After Dark. Um, a lot of youngsters out there might not know what that means, but, <laughs> but you can Google it. <laughs> um, Hef did this really great thing of having a penthouse party where he had sexy people mingling, he had uh, musicians, celebrities, and he had real conversations with them while they were drinking and uh, really made it a cool atmosphere. So I said I want my set to look like um, like the VIP room of a club where they get pushed into after the club closes. And we got a DJ, we have a bartender, and people mingling around, and we're drinking games. So it's, it's a whole heck of a lot of fun. No, so Hef was definitely like, he was a 70s guy. Like, I don't think he ever kind of graduated from 70s. No, he still, he hasn't. He doesn't do change very well. Um, will you be channeling the 70s in yours? You know, we do have a shag carpet in the rug, um, and I still and have does a... the carpet match the drapes? <laughs> um, I still have a 70s bush, so... <laughs> yes! I haven't changed also. Oh, natural. Wait, are you even allowed to do that in Playboy? You're not allowed yes. to have, like, full bush, are you? Yes, I just posed again, and I went full Republican. You did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice! I was just like, you know what? You have to pay extra to see more of the meat and bologna. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Fair. So I covered it up with a little bit of carpet. <laughs> Did you put a merkin on or was that yours? You <laughs> no, it was mine. Full, it's full on. on. Full mine. I'm proud Polish. I'm Polish. We grow you. hair very easily. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's something else that you're doing on your show that I think is pretty awesome. You're doing groundbreaking interviews. Yeah, this is something that I, you know, I, I was playing around with for the past, I'd say, almost five years. I wanted to come up with a segment that was different from anything you've seen. And the point being was to get celebrities to open up and have a little bit more of a conversation. As you know, when you interview them, they sit in a chair, they have this, like, formal presentation, and they work on their perception of what the public wants them to see, be like. So I tried something where we just lay on the ground, and I take a flip cam, and we're kind of head to head. And I did a test with Bradley Cooper. And we did a seven minute interview. You and laid down with Bradley Cooper. I on sure camera. the hell did. And, and this footage will be seen by everyone? No, it was just a <laughs> test. Oh, he'll come be on. back. He'll be back. This for on your show. own private vault? It was. But then we tested it with some more celebrities on the show. And it turns out to be a real, like, diamond in the show. Like, everyone can't wait for the third segment. <laughs> <laughs> I want to taste. We don't I want to know what this feels like. Get down here. Flip camera, though. That's all right. It's going to feel a lot like See, this, only better. It's going to feel like this. All right. Now he has to get closer. Okay. And he has to be right over us, yeah. like this, like this. Oh, and, and I bet we and he doesn't have the skin. No, all because he doesn't back. have a circle light oh, around us. We need that. We need the eye light. <laughs> and then this is when we talk about we sex talk about? and drugs oh, and rock and roll. I like sex, drugs, and And then if you're hot, I make out with you. It's just really it, sexy. Isn't and it? Like, we actually on air crawl back to our chairs. But, <laughs> you know, by that time, the celebrities have had a few drinks and they, they really open up about things that they probably shouldn't. I bet you have off. a hard time getting them off the floor, though, after a few drinks. They're like, can't we just stay here? It's fine. <laughs> you would think so. Although, after some of the questions I do ask, some of them are running back because they are, the questions are groundbreaking. You know, I ask them, like, who do they masturbate to and what kind of porn are they into and stuff like that because it's late night. Oh, I know. Uh, I cannot wait to see this show. <laughs> now, uh, you did just threaten to make out with me, but you did sort of make out with a very big celebrity did just I? recently, and it made all the news at oh, the yeah. American Music Awards. Yeah! I did. That was not necessarily tongue action happening there, although I don't know what you were doing. Well, can I tell you what I was doing? Like, when he first walked by, when he first was coming up to me to get the award, I thought to myself, all right, I'm going to give him a kiss on the cheek with a big red lipstick mark, so it's funny when he's delivering speech. Well, the guy next to me was, you know, giving the award with me. He's like, oh, you got lipstick on your cheek and tried rubbing it off. I'm like, I did that on purpose. It's part of my bit, man. So then Justin actually got upset with him and said, put the kiss back on. So I said to myself, oh, I'm going to put it back on, all right. <laughs> so I kissed him, and then I bit his neck, and then I just squeezed his butt and made it a molestation moment. And all the believers are now, like, really mad at I'm you. I'm going to tell you, you guys, this is, sounds crazy, but after that like make out molestation session, I gained 20,000 followers in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, most of them threatening my life. Yeah, all right. I'm at the age of 13. <laughs> yeah. You smell beaver rock. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, they're big well, fans. Well, they're just jealous that they want to know what he tastes like. So at least chicken. Just to let you know, chicken. <laughs>
<laughs> you are awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. You guys, we are so excited for her new show. It premieres this Friday at 10.30 right here on VH1. Yes. Now let's go down to Alex and Times Square and see what else is coming up on the show. Thanks, Carrie. We have four signed copies of Shame Magazine with Jenny on the cover to give away right now. For chances to win, follow us on Twitter at VH1. Tweet us the buzzword, Jen in shape, and add the hashtag VH1Buzz. As always, standard rules apply. And still coming up, People Style Watch shows us how to rock the looks of our favorite Grammy Award-winning artists on a budget, and then Rev Run and Tyrese talk about their new book, Manology. There's a lot of buzz left. Stick around. Yeah! For the things you can't wash, freshen them with Febreze. Febreze eliminates odors and leaves a light, fresh scent. Febreze. Breathe happy. Switch to Swiffer 360 Duster Extender and you'll dump your old duster. But don't worry. He'll find someone else. Who's that lady? Duster Extender cleans high and low with thick all-around fibers that attract and lock up to two times more dust than a feather duster. Swiffer gives cleaning a whole new meaning. And now Swiffer Duster's refills are available with a fresh scent of gain. The new Ruffles Ultimate. Mm, never seen ridges this deep. Cool. Mm. I'm all in. Buzzing. Must be the Ruffles. Deeper ridges. The new Ruffles Ultimate. Snack like a mean it. Do you love shoes? Do you love keeping up with the latest trends in fashion? At ShoeMint.com, style icon Rachel Bilson and celebrity stylist Nicole Chavez design an exclusive collection of new shoes every month, all in this season's hottest colors and trends. Every pair is made with real leather and real suede by legendary shoemaker Steve Madden. Just go to ShoeMint.com and take a quick style quiz, then we'll pick the perfect pairs we know you'll love. Go to ShoeMint.com today and for a limited time, get 20% off your first pair. Shop online for the latest British trends. From catwalk to closet, get your celebrity style and rock the look for less. With 20% off everything and free shipping on all orders, $25 and over. Boohoo.com in two days. Hey, what is going on? The New York Times, Newsweek, and Rolling Stone are on the edge of their seats. Side Effects is full of twist and nail-biting suspense. It's a must-see thriller. <laughs> Side Effects. Rated R. Who can you trust to win your Social Security disability benefits for you? Well, the best honest answer is just look for the best honest results. Binder & Binder is America's most successful Social Security disability advocates. detergent that cleans, brightens, and fights stains. Hop in, stand out. All the beauty rituals we embrace. And yet, still, there's something missing. There you go. Summer's Eve pH balanced cleansing wash. Hail to the V. Welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow on Big Morning Buzz Live, Tony Braxton's going to be here. Cheaters Clark Gable and singer-songwriter Jewel stops by to chat and perform. Plus, uh, Fall Out Boy is going to drop in to give us a big announcement. I'm Woo! super excited about that. Now, right now, uh, you know, some of your favorite singers are going to be burning up that red carpet this weekend at the Grammys. But you don't have to wait to steal their favorite looks. You can start channeling your inner diva today without spending diva bucks. Uh, we're gonna show you how right here with People Style Watch editor Kristen Maxwell. Hi. So nice to have you back. You always bring good stuff. Thank you. I try. All right. So what are we doing right now? We're gonna we're gonna talk about some Grammy award-winning looks that we can rip off. Is that how this works? Absolutely. And all of these looks are under a hundred. What? Yes. Head to toe. That's a steal. All right. So where do we go? Well, what are we gonna start with? Well, let's start with Taylor Swift. 
She is always wearing these classic kind of feminine pieces, A-line skirts, little sweaters. Um, Jammies, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and, um, but she has a lot of fun with her colors and prints and sort of her retro, chic, vintage extras. Nice. So, so we have a model? Let's yeah. bring out Laura. Laura, come on down. Laura Taylor Swift. <laughs> so, like I mentioned, you know. Look at how cute. Feminine looks. Totally. All right, tell me what she's wearing. So, Laura has on these vintage earrings. These are imitation. They're just $9.99. Cute. And then the Prabal Garoon for Target dress. Um, it's in stores February 10th. And this is just $49.99. Wow. Prabal shoes, $39.99. Okay, loving the shoes. They're amazing. And that's so springy. Now it makes me want to go right into spring. We're not there yet. we got a couple more months left, don't we? And a few more. Now, so the total cost of this outfit? $99.97. You just skirted under 100 but we got there. Three sets under, but it Well counts. done. Thank you so much. Okay, now who's our next uh, style icon? Our next is Rihanna. So Rihanna really pushes the fashion envelope all the time with these of the moment kind of bold pieces. Um, although she keeps it streamlined by really sticking to the neutral colors and then goes all out with the accessories. So we have this bold ring. This is Hi, from Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> this is from H&M. It's $17.95. The top is American Apparel, $25. This sexy pencil skirt is $34.95. This is from H&M. And then these shoes, you are not going to believe these. These are on sale at Shoe Dazzle for $11.99. Wow. Are you kidding me? I want this entire outfit. Can you just leave it behind? <laughs> I would so rock this. I love that. And it does look like Rihanna. You do look yeah. like Rihanna. Right, doesn't she? Yeah, so cute. So what's the total on that one? This is $99.59. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I love that outfit. And that looks so comfortable. And look at how okay. tall and she is. so tall yeah. and so amazing. <laughs> We can trip her on the way out. Okay. Uh, and who's our, who's our next one? Last one is kind of the Grammy veteran. This is Gwen Stefani. Hello, Miss Stefani. <laughs> and she's always, like, has these kind of rocker-inspired looks. They almost have a masculine vibe to them, a lot of leather, a lot of exposed zippers. Um, so the top is $2.80 from Forever 21. These vegan leather pants, these are blank NYC. They're available on Piper Lime for $61.99. And they're vegan leather. I like vegan that. Leather. Yes. I am also wearing vegan faux leather right here. So yeah, it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. And then the shoes. And it makes good noise when you slap it. <laughs> we can test it out. <laughs> I love the. Come here. See, listen, listen. There it is. There it is. That's what makes them rocker pants right there. I love those. You can leave that outfit behind, too. And who are the shoes? The shoes are H&M. These are $34.80. So cute. So cute. And the total is? $89.89. Wow. We can do all of these. Yes. I love this. Yes, they're very cute. That, thank you so much. Oh, I love her hair, too. I know. So How do so we get glad. that? How, do, how much is that haircut? I, I don't, too much. <laughs> It's so good. Thank you so much Thank for bringing you. those. Now I feel like I'm prepared for Grammy weekend. Great. All right. You guys can get all of these looks. You can see what we're talking about on our Facebook page. And, and you can pick up the current issue of People's Style Watch with Hayden Pence here on the cover. And it's on newsstands right now. So when we come back, Tyrese and Rev Run are going to give us a crash course in manology. Don't go anywhere. More Tostitos Cantina Chips at Table 3. Coming right up. This table is incredible. Here you go. All right. Mm. Hey, babe, how are you? Oh. What are all these people doing in your apartment? They think it's an actual Mexican restaurant. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. We're actually short-staffed. In a rush. Put this on. New Tostitos Cantina Chips and Salsa. Real restaurant taste, wherever your party's at. They need more salsa at table five. Waiter. You mean the ottoman? Yeah. You walk into your laundry room, and it just hits you. That nasty odor coming from your washer. Say farewell to the smell with Tide Washing Machine Cleaner. It goes straight to the source of the stink to lift odor-causing residues off your washer's drum. Tide Washing Machine Cleaner.
Take Zycam now. It's clinically shown to shorten the cold. Zycam. Go from pre-cold to no cold faster. Mm -hmm. These Mr. Clean guys, there's like a clean team. Did you see Mr. Clean disinfecting bath cleaner killing that bacteria yesterday? Just flaunting it? And did you see the magic eraser clean up that crazy kitchen mess? It was like super dirty, super clean, how? Wish I hadn't. What, what's that amazing smell? It's Mr. Clean with the amazing scent of game. Wow. You know, if I had a team, you'd be on it. Our mascot could be a Cleanosaurus Rex. You're off the team. Dirt and grime have nowhere to hide with the Mr. Clean clean team on your side. Add a pop of color to your everyday look. New Elmay Intense Eye Color Bold Nudes, a neutral palette with a pop of color that makes my green eyes stand out. And there's one for every eye color. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life's passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, maybe I'll go to school next year, or maybe next semester. No, do it right now. They'll work with you after work, or you can go before work. You can do whatever you need to do to graduate. Go talk to somebody right now. They out to help you. You spend all day on the phone anyhow. Why don't you make a phone call that's going to help you in your future? All you got to do is pick up the phone and make the call. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. Rocky had no idea why Don was gone for so long, but he'd wait for her forever, for any reason, and would always be there with the biggest welcome home. For a love this strong, Dawn only feeds him imes. Compared to other leading brands, it has 50% more animal protein to help keep Rocky's body as strong as a love that never fades, if he ever lets you leave again. Imes, keep love strong. Hi. I'm Jenny McCarthy. And I'm Dan St. Germain. Your Friday nights are about to get hairy. After watching Pop Culture Gone Wild, the best week ever. Catch my sexy new talk show where I dish dirty gossip with wild celebs. Sounds hot, man. I know, right? Say the word and I'll give you the best night ever, Jenny McCarthy. Watch an all-new best week ever. Followed by the premiere of The Jenny McCarthy Show. Friday, starting at 10. All part of the best night ever on VH1. Set your DVR now. model and a reverend slash rapper and together they are the authors of a new book called Manology. Please welcome Tyrese and Reverend. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice to have you guys here. Uh, Tyrese, welcome back. Thank you. I love you. This is live. I love your place, man. We got, there's a lot going on. And yes, I wore this to make sure that you guys were I up, awake and lively. Yeah, wide awake. <laughs> People screaming and yelling and the, the, everything lit up. There's the elevators right are going there. off elevators and everything. Right yeah. yeah. It's hump day, you know. So, Tyrese, congratulations. Grammy weekend. Ooh. Two nominations. Oh, totally yes. different categories, like, f for you, first yes. of all, R&B. R&B, no, I mean, R&B for me is normal. The R&B Grammy nomination for Album of the Year is the first time for me, and I did Ow! my album independent. Congratulations. So very, That's amazing. It's a different type of thing. It's a different thing. And then the second Grammy nod, is actually Anita Baker, who to this day I'm still in disbelief. She did a remake, which is really an original version because she smashed my version. <laughs> um, and she ended up with a Grammy nomination for a song I wrote called Lately. So, so good. Pretty crazy. That's yeah. gotta feel good, right? Walking yeah. the Grammys uh, with How two. old was you when you wrote the dead one? So like 17. Wow. <laughs> and now Anita, it's like a reverse. You got the, the legend recording the seventh. That's, yeah, that's, that's it's a lot. crazy. That's when you know it's a, new, it's it's a whole real. new century, right? Yeah, she, like, my version was like an appetizer, though. <laughs> she was the main course meal. Trust yeah, she me definitely that. smashed it. So good. All right, let's talk about what you guys are talking about in your book, Manology. Yeah. You guys are revealing some secrets. Yeah, a few About of them. being a man. Yeah, we got a problem with what women don't know. You know what? I have a problem with what we don't know, too. That's why we was trying to lay it all out there, like, here's what goes on inside man's mind. I know you might have been hurt. It's not your fault. Guys are a little bit... Sometime it is. <laughs> Most of the time it ain't, says the Reverend. Thank Wim you very much. Women are our protection, man. It's, we, we act silly sometimes. Yeah, okay, so things that aren't so we, nice. I mean, when things go wrong, it ain't always on us. Well, this book, is teaching, you, get the fault, this book is teaching you 
the, the, the things that men do. Okay, so give me Let some me of the secrets. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Are you going to ask you a question? I am, because <laughs> I love in your in pink view. outfit. Mm. Every relationship that's ever ended, has it always been the man's fault? No. Okay, thank you. That's all I'm saying, <laughs> Robert. <laughs> oh, wait, are you talking about mine? Or yeah, are you <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so give me some of the secrets that you guys are revealing in these. Well, we talk about everything from just life, love, spirituality, kind of like... I always say this, and I guess it, pissed, it pisses the book people off. I'm like, look, this book is uncomfortable. It's not like it's politically correct. I'm going into details about the things that we think and feel. Uh, it's like, look, if your sex is whack, you can't expect a man to not cheat on you. Like, he has experienced better sex before. And don't, be, don't assume because you are sexually active that your sex is that's actually how we, good. That's how we actually met. I sent out an email, a word of wisdom about, you know, being faithful and the real reverently stuff. And he was like, what if the sex is whack? I was like, hi, this is Tyrese. And he didn't even know the email. And I didn't know him. He just responded to a long email list of celebrities and stuff that was on my words of wisdom list. I'm like, Tyrese who? Tyrese Gibson? He's like, yeah, send me your number. And want to fight the Rev because he want to cheat. That, I'm wait, not, wait, why is this a, a fight you want to have? Why, just I break never up wanted with to somebody fight then. Him. I was just saying that there is a difference in opinion. Mm -hmm. And just like me, this is the season I'm in in my manhood. He's in a different Wait, season. Wait, when were you in a different season? Just right. curiosity. Right. <laughs> Things are very different. Okay, all right. When we met, was it four some years ago? Maybe more. And talked on the phone and had our first. I'm, I'm a very different man right now. Yeah, he's being mentored. Like. <laughs> Yeah. Or so, man manipulated, depending right, on right, how yeah. You yeah, you can get manipulated. That would be make sure women don't get manipulated. This is a manual, so you won't be manipulated. <laughs> I like that. I'm happy you like that. I like that. So I and can then see we're why also this is a good book, though. Women the heads are... up about the magicians oh. that know how to create the smoke and create this facade that they are everything that they appear to be. And then when the smoke clears, you like, yo, who are you? Mm. You've been representing this smoke for like two years, and then I find out... He is David Copperfield when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm the man. Man, you know, you... Uh -huh. <laughs> you find you better out. lean with it. <laughs> um, okay, so, I mean, I can obviously see where the line gets drawn uh, in drawn. this book, but it's entertaining. We, we, we are definitely on the same page. We both have the same barber, put it that way. <laughs> have you guys learned from each other? Have you found a common oh, ground? Oh, yeah, totally. Um, I want to say this. Go ahead. Speak on it. Uh, this is not a gimmick. This is not, hey, we're bored. Let's go get a check and write a book. Anybody who follows us on Twitter know that we have a responsibility. Each one, teach one. We love nothing more than to wake up and give people insight, motivate, and inspire in whatever way we can. Um, it is something that is, it's an urge to make a difference. It's like celebrity and money and history, all of this makes no difference if you're not trying to give people the heads up about what you know. Like, if I can save you four years in college from one conversation, I'll give it to you because all you want to do is go to college to figure out how to win. Okay. And so in this book, um, it's, it's that. I mean, I am. I want to be more like Rev. That's why he's my best friend. It's like you hang around the barbershop long enough. At some point, you're gonna get a haircut. So, you know, that's the way it is. Like this is not. We like when Rev comes to L.A. with his wife and his family and his kids. They stay at my house. It's for real. And so we are. We saying like he's Look. banned us from hotels. <laughs> so it's nice. like we we. We have a problem with what you don't know. And if you have a weak stomach, if you want to live in oblivion, if you want, I would much rather not know, then this ain't for you. Because I keep it so real, I tell it all. And it wasn't like shock jock approach. It was just more like, look, you need to know. I got a five-year-old daughter. I'm not having these conversations with her yet. His daughters are grown. But it's like, you need to know what's in this book. It's all right. <laughs>
a Febreze experiment. To prove Febreze can keep this car fresh, we loaded it with fast food, sweaty hockey gear, and a smelly dog cage, and parked it at a mall in Texas for two days. Then put a Febreze car vent clip on the dash and let in real people. It smells good. Like laundry fresh out of like the dryer. Yeah. A man fresh out of the shower. Mailed it. Ooh, yeah. Proof Febreze car vent clips keep your car fresh. Another way Febreze helps you breathe happy. So my home is definitely designed around my family. That's why I have lots of hard floors. And though I've tried lots of different cleaners, I've even tried scrubbing on my hands and knees. They just simply push the dirty water around. This is the amazing Hoover Floor Mate. It vacuums, washes, and dries all at the turn of the dial. Its twin tanks keep dirty water separate from clean water, while its spin scrub brushes gently scrub your floor, leaving deep down dirt no place to hide. And it dries really fast. And just look how much dirt the Floor Mate picks up. I can't believe that was on my floors. Visit hooverfloormate.com today and get this incredible offer with a 30-day risk-free trial and free shipping. If you're not delighted, send it back and we'll return your money and ship for free. The Hoover Floor Mate. It's the perfect cleaner for my hard floors. Barney! I really love it. Obsessed with shoes? Check out ShoeDazzle.com for access to hot styles and exclusives you can't find anywhere else. With prices starting as low as $39.95, Shoe Dazzle brings you the personal stylist experience and makes it easy for you to try new looks by showing you on-trend shoes selected just for you. Visit ShoeDazzle.com today and get spoiled with 25% off your first pair, free shipping, and your own personalized stylist picks. Your next pair is waiting at ShoeDazzle.com. Discover JewelMint.com, an exclusive jewelry collection inspired by the runway, vintage finds, and the latest fashion trends. Jewel Mint is featured in top fashion magazines like Elle, Vogue, Glamour, and InStyle, loved by A-list celebrity stylists, and spotted on the biggest fashion blogs and some of Hollywood's best-dressed women. Pieces start at just $29.99, and shipping is always free. So go to JewelMint.com and discover why over 1 million fans on Facebook love our designs. And for a limited time, when you buy your first piece, you'll get a second piece on us. The General gives over a million online car insurance quotes every year. It only takes a couple of minutes. That's fast. They do have great low rates. <laughs> and it's completely anonymous. <laughs> and the General's customer satisfaction rating is 97%. <laughs> Affordable car insurance from the General. Get a free quote right now and choose your own due date. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. Uh, cloudy glasses. You didn't have to come over. Easy. Hi, Cascade Kitchen Counselor. Look, over time, Cascade Complete Packs fight film buildup two times better than finished quantum to help leave glasses sparkling. Cascade, the clear choice. Unwrap your paradise. Soft, sweet coconut covered in rich, creamy chocolate. Almond Joy and Mounds. Unwrap paradise. your views on some like women's issues like things that women have always wanted to know so we're gonna play a little game we're calling men say what yeah. Hello. <laughs> all right you guys ready first question Ooh. many women have tried and few have succeeded can a man ever be changed um can a man be changed I, I don't think that a woman should try to change a man you know what I mean let God handle that. You just do your part, be inspiring to him, and he will change his um, foolishness as he sees you do the right thing. But what if everything is right? Like You everything can't change a man. Right. You can't. Matter, you shouldn't even try to get with a man that you got to change. Wait, so wait, even listen. if there's like one thing wrong, your it's just not worth it. Your spaghetti, back away. massages, and sex is not going to stop him from <laughs> wanting to get other sex, if that's what he wants to do. And your sex can be amazing. He but just wants other food I make really plates. good spaghetti. I, I love it. I'll see you tonight. This is, this is what I'm saying. For me, I would say, um, let's assume that he's trying his best and that as a grown man, he is duplicating what he was exposed to as far as love in his household. 
so you know how to love better, so to speak. Don't be condescending with your approach to showing him, but teach him, show him through loving him from like walk in the example of how to love better. Walk this way. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it can get very tricky to rock a rhyme. <laughs> Preach. Peter Piper. Pick peppers. <laughs> Okay, the next one is, uh, women wonder, how soon is too soon to sleep with a man without trying to look like a hoe? Uh, my response is, Something if crazy. I like you, and you like me, and we're grown, if I'm feeling it, then we're rubbing bodies. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm, I'm not done. Yeah, y'all are crazy. Uh, um, and I also think that in a woman's mind, if I give it up too easy, then he's gonna look at me like I was easy. When ultimately, it was a decision that we both made. Um, in the Bible, cheating or having sex is not even recognized until you're married. So when people are like, he cheated on me. Uh, technically, you cheated on yourself because you weren't supposed to let nobody beat it up until you got married. <laughs> okay. Right? So let's go even further, and I'm gonna wrap it up because I can talk a lot. Um, the last thing is, ultimately, when you're dealing with a more mature man, he's not gonna de look down on you because you gave it up quick because it was a mutual decision. And I'm like, look, instead of me waiting eight months to discover that the sex might be horrible, <laughs> let's just do what we really feel like doing now because we're both attracted to each other, and let's just have some fun. Yeah. Listen, you got to keep some mystique. Um, if you really want to close the deal, if you're looking to have a boyfriend, you know, and, and you're looking for love, you, you can't use love uh, like this acronym, legs open very easy. You can't do that because that will lead you to some very sad times because the guy be like, okay, I'm done, I'm cool, I know what that fit. It's like, it's like anything, you, your kids get toys, right? And after a while, once they get that toy, next thing you know, it's in the toy box. So when you get caught up in these play boys, you know what I mean, because boys will play, you'll end up in the old toy box, and they'll move on to the new box. Barbie. <laughs> So, but that's, that's, that's the, real. Yeah, but that's the dynamic. How many of what Barbies this, are in your play toy box? I, whatever. <laughs> she, she's wearing pink. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. That's what the dynamics of this book is. It's uncomfortable. That was his truth. And that it's, was my truth. It represents the season that he's in in his life, and it represents the season I'm at. But it's more like it's it's not a gimmick. Like I said, it's like we want you to know what you don't know. And there's a young lady, and, and it changed my life. I mean it. She's 22. She come in the conference room, me and Rev is waiting, and she's like, you have no idea she's right what your book just did for my life. And so that's what it's all about. She's like, no, you don't understand. I didn't have closure, and I read this book, and it all, like, I understand it now. And it was uncomfortable to read, but it was the truth. And if I had known what I know now, then I would have avoided a dude like that because these are all of the signs that I didn't know about. I didn't know to run away from him because I didn't know no better. So, so for we, Valentine's Day, I think every girl, every guy should get their, every girl should get their girlfriends this book. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll finally figure something out. That's it. And I'm not, I, I'm not concerned about book sales. I just want you to know what you don't know. I want to know what well, I don't I'm know Well, I'm concerned too. about book sales, and so is Simon and Schuster. <laughs> Pick up the book. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming on. This is amazing. You guys, uh, Manology is in bookstores right now. Three days into school break and they're already bored. Hmm, we need a new game. That'll save the day. So will Bounty select a size. It's the smaller, powerful sheet, the only one with trap and lock technology. Look, one select a size sheet of Bounty is 50% more absorbent than a full size sheet of the leading ordinary brand. Use less with the small but powerful picker upper. Bounty select a size. Hershey's Bliss, one square inch of deliciously smooth chocolate and creamy milk. Or rich dark. Incredible indulgence. One square inch of bliss. Hershey's Bliss. This is one way to keep your underwear clean. This is another. Ta-da!
try Charmin Ultra Strong. It cleans so well, and you can use up to four times less than the leading value brand. Oh, there it is. Thanks, son. Hey! Charmin Ultra Strong has a DuraClean texture that can help you get clean while still using less. And it's four times stronger versus the leading value brand. Charmin Ultra Strong helps keep you and your underwear clean. We all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin Ultra Strong? A Febreze experiment. To prove Febreze can keep this car fresh, we loaded it with fast food, sweaty hockey gear, and a smelly dog cage, and parked it at a mall in Texas for two days. Then put a Febreze car vent clip on the dash and let in real people. It smells good. Like laundry fresh out of like the dryer. Yeah. A man fresh out of the shower. Mailed it. Ooh, yeah. Proof. Febreze car vent clips keep your car fresh. Another way Febreze helps you breathe happy. Now, Mega Lash Volume goes Mega Plush. Bye-bye, Brittle. Volume Express Mega Plush from Maybelline, New York. Our first gel mousse mascara for Mega Lush lashes soft to the touch. Mega Plush Mascara. Start with an all-new award-winning car. Good. Now, find the most hardcore driver in America. That guy. Put him in it. What's this? Tell him he's about to find out. You're about to find out. Testing. I like the European chassis. Six-speed manual. Dual exhaust. Wide stance. Clean lines. Have him floor it. Spin it. Punch it. Drift it. Put it through its paces. Is he happy? Oh, yeah. He's happy. And that's how you test your car for fun. Easy. Salon facial hair removal can be costly. Challenge that with Olay Facial Hair Removal Duos for finer coarse hair. First a pre-treatment balm, then the effective cream. For gentle hair removal at far less than salon prices, there's no place like home. Three, two, one. I need a new phone. You're good. At Radio Shack, you'll find the right phone plus free expert support for as long as you have it. It's time to upgrade at Radio Shack. The Jenny McCarthy Show, new series premieres Friday at 10.30, only on VH1. afraid of reaching in here this time. Okay, guess what you guys? It's Alex Cross on DVD. This is the crime thriller starring Tyler Perry and Matthew Fox. It's available to take home right now and we've got 10 copies to give away. So for a chance to win, follow us on Twitter at VH1. Tweet us the buzzword Alex and add that little hashtag VH1 buzz. As always, official rules apply. You're quite bouncy. <laughs> Thanks to all today's guests for stopping by the buzz. Alex, our Alex, is going to tell you what's coming up on the show tomorrow. All right, coming up tomorrow on Big Morning Buzz Live, Tony Braxton will be here, host of Cheaters, Clark Gable. Jewel's going to stop by to chat and perform with us. And Fall Out Boy, they're going to swing on by with a massive announcement. Back up to you, Carrie. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks, Alex. Come back tomorrow at 10 a.m. and see what all the buzz is about. See you